Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Reading for Vocabulary. I'm Brian Stewart. Are you guys ready to start studying? Let's begin. We're on lesson 11 now. The lesson name is Dirt is Good. Dirt is good. In this unit, we are going to focus on, let's think about, let's think about the importance of soil. 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 What soil? Soil is the same as dirt. So, let's look at this idea a little closely, okay? Here we have the question, what is dirt? What is dirt? And before we saw the word soil. Dirt and soil, same thing, okay? Dirt, this is dirt, and this is soil up here. Now, you think dirt is good? If you're outside and you're playing in the dirt, you get dirt on your hands, on your clothes, on your face. You come home and your mother doesn't like it, right? Omoni shirayo, right? Omoni ga shirayo. And she might say, ah, hook yogi, hook jogi, ongmongine, right? There's dirt everywhere. It's dirty, but dirt is good. Why? Because as you can see, many plants grow from the dirt. So that's what we're going to talk about in this unit, okay? We're going to talk about how dirt, how soil is good, okay? Let's learn the vocabulary for this lesson. The first word, the first word that we're going to go over here is to become something else. This is a nice picture, right? It's the picture of the same thing. It's changing. It's changing from this little uh, piece here. You can see the butterfly is coming out. So the caterpillar used to be here, but the caterpillar changes, becomes something else. What does it do? It turns into, it turns into a butterfly. To turn into means to change from one thing to another. The caterpillar, caterpillar, you know the caterpillar, the, the little green insect that crawls around, looks like a worm. The caterpillar turns into a butterfly, a beautiful butterfly. And that's what turn into means, to change. Okay, next word. Number two. These are very pretty rocks, aren't they? Very nice looking rocks. What are they? They are a special type of rocks, an important part of rocks. They are minerals. Now these are large, you know, they're kind of big, right? But when plants grow in dirt, right, the plants take the minerals up from the dirt and the minerals are in the plants. When we eat the plants, we eat some minerals, very small, very small pieces of minerals, but they're good for our bodies. We need those things. We need minerals and we need vitamins. So minerals are an important part of rocks. They're also good for us. But don't eat these, <laughs> you'll break your teeth, right? Just eat the plants. You can't see the minerals in the plants, but they're good for you. Okay, next word. Oh, it's too bad, it's sad. Here's a fish. The fish is out of water. The fish cannot live out of water, so it's not alive. What's another word that means not alive? The word, of course, is dead. Dead. The fish is dead. So something that is not alive is dead. Okay, the next word, number four. Here we have a picture of a lot of dirt, but there's also some plants here, right? And we have this uh, definition to break down to break down. If you imagine that this is a lot of plants, or maybe we could put some old fruit, like some old apples or some old oranges on top of there, and after a while, it begins to smell, right? Because what is it doing? It is rotting, to rot. This is a verb. To rot means to break down, and usually things get, oh, they get smelly, right? And they break down over time, and they go back into the dirt. 
they go back into the soil to rot, to break down. Okay, the next word. Look at these guys. They're having fun, right? They were hiking all day. Now they are at the highest position in the mountains. Where are they? They are on the top, on the top, on the top, right? They are on the top of the mountain. So top is the highest in position. It's the top thing, the thing that is on top, right? To be on the top, top. Okay, number six, uh, the gas that we breathe, right? If you breathe, you can feel the wind, right? The wind is gas. What is that gas? It's all around us. We breathe it. We need it so that we don't die, so that, so that we stay alive. What is it? It's called air. Air. Air is all around us, right? It's the gas that we breathe. Remember, we can't really see the gas. The gas is very light. We can move around in it, right? Uh, but we breathe it. That's the gas that we're breathing. That's called air. Okay, next word. Number seven to keep in place. Okay, this is an interesting picture. Somebody has a strong grip on their money, right? Ton, <laughs> okay, because it's very important. But what are they doing? If you have like Beguan or Obeguan in your hand, you don't want to lose it. You put it in your hand, you close your fingers around it. What are you doing? What is that verb? Hold. You are holding your money. Also, when you go on the street and you're walking on a busy street, hold your mother's hand. Hold your father's hand because you don't want to get on the street. It could be dangerous. Hold your brother's hand or your sister's hand to take care of them. Okay? So you hold. Now, this is an a, a irregular verb. It changes. So we say hold, held, held. Right? Hold, it's a present tense, held, past tense, and held, PP, right? Hold, held, held. Okay, good. Next word. I kind of talked about this before a little bit when I talked about air. I said air is all around us, in all places. Another word we could use, everywhere. Whew, that's a big word, right? Everywhere, that's a really big word. If you look at the sand, right, there is sand, Sand is a type of dirt, by the way, but sand is not good dirt. Things don't grow well in sand. But in the desert, sand is everywhere, right? Right now, air is everywhere, right? Okay, so everywhere, in all places, everywhere around us. Okay, next word. Number nine, at a lower place. So here we see a man, he's sitting by a tree, the tree is very tall, right? The branches and the leaves are on top. There, they're on top. Where is he? He is below. He's below the branches and the leaves. He is below. So I could say, here is a pen, right? Here is my hand. The pen is below my hand, okay? So below, at a lower place. Number 10. Ugh. Kind of slimy, right? I said slimy. Slimy is, uh, you know, it's a little wet and it's a little uh, soft, right? That's slimy. Ugh, do you want to pick up that worm? I'm sure the girls in the audience, they don't want to pick up that worm. The boys are like, yeah, let's pick up the worm, right? Okay, but it's a little slimy, right? And we can see this worm in the dirt, which is very wet. It's also slimy. But when we see a mix of rotting stuff and soil, so imagine that there's like old uh, fruit on the top, right? It's just kind of rotting and, and breaking down. Uh, and it's a mix of that stuff and soil. There's a special word we use for it. It's a little hard to pronounce, but look at this word. It's humus. Hue. Humus. Two sounds, two sounds. Humus, humus. So we say humus. That is the mix of rotting stuff and soil. Good for growing plants. Okay. Now, 
Here we have an interesting picture. We have many green apples. They're a little sour, right? Green apples are a little sour. And then we have one red apple. It's a little more sweet, right? When we say not the same, there's many words that mean not the same. We're going to look at one word here is other, right? These are the, all the green apples. I, the other apple is red. I have many green apples, but the other apple is red. So something that is not the same as other, as, as the, what you have, that is the other, right? When you're saying something is different, not the same, the other. Okay. Having a special use. Something that has a special use, what do we call that? We can say it's important, right? Here we have a picture of a little girl and she's getting ready for bed. Maybe she's praying and she has a little teddy bear with her, right? The teddy bear is very important to the girl. What is important in your life? Do you have a toy that is your favorite toy? It's very important to you. Maybe you have a book that you like to read. That book is important. But also think about your family. Your family members are very important. Your mom is important. Your dad is important. Your brothers and sisters, I know sometimes we fight, but they're important to you too. These are things that have uh, not just a special use, but a special value to you. They are important. Okay. Okay, so we finished with the vocabulary. Now let's use the vocabulary to put into these sentences here. How well do you remember the vocabulary? Let's look. Here we have turn into, top, dead, minerals, minerals, rot, and air. These are the words we need to choose to put into these sentences. The first two sentences are here. Let's look at number one. Number one says, the beep layer of the cake was chocolate. The beep layer, layer of a cake. If you look at a cake, right, it has many layers. It has a bottom layer and it has a top layer, right? Bottom layer is on the bottom. The top layer is on the top. So top is really the only word that would fit in here, right? Not the dead layer. Ugh, that's a horrible cake, right? Not the air, air cake. Can you eat air cake? There's nothing there. It's just air. Rot, that would be a disgusting cake. Minerals turn into, no, we're looking for the top layer because layers have different positions, right? And remember, the position, the highest position is the top. So the top layer of the cake was chocolate. Mmm, that sounds good. Okay, number two. I watch the snow beep water. Well, we can figure that out. It's actually kind of easy if we look at these words up here. Of course, we're looking for some kind of verb, right? But we're also thinking about snow. Think about snow. It's a very cold day, right? And there's snow on the ground. But the next day, it gets warm. The sun comes out. And that snow, what happens to the snow? It changes into water. So when something changes, it turns into, right? I watch the snow turn into water. On a very warm day after the winter, at the end of winter, you can see the snow turn into water. Okay, let's move on. Number three, fruit. Are you hungry? <laughs> we're talking about chocolate cake, now we're talking about fruit. Okay, now fruit. Fruit will beep if you leave it in a warm place. Remember, I was talking about fruit before. If you have old apples or old oranges and you put it outside and it's sunny, it's warm, it breaks down, it gets smelly, what happens? It, fruit will rot. Fruit will rot if you leave it in a warm place. So if you have your lunch, you go to school, you have an apple, don't put your lunch in a warm place, right? That's not good for your food. It will rot. Keep your food in a cool place. It won't rot. Okay. Number four. I hit the mosquito. Oh, mogi. Mogi no moshirayo. Right? I hate mosquitoes. So I hit the mosquito, but it wasn't what? 
If you hit them, sometimes that happens. You, you hit the, the mosquito, but it flies away. Oh my gosh, it's a very strong mosquito, right? I hit the mosquito, but it wasn't dead. It wasn't dead. So you hit it, but it didn't die. It flew away. Whoa, really strong mogi, right? Kang mogi. <laughs> okay, so I hit the mosquito, but it wasn't dead. Okay, the next two sentences, number five and number six. Mountain beep is clean and good to breathe. Think about that. If you go to the mountains, right? San urokayo, right? You go up into the mountains and you, ah, oh, wow, it smells very fresh. It's really good for your lungs, right? What are we talking about? We're talking about the gas that we breathe. Mountain air is clean and good to breathe, right? There's not many cars up there. There's not a lot of factories. The air is clean and we can breathe it very easily. It's fresh. Mountain air is clean. Okay, number six, the last one. There are many important beep in soil. There's one word left here, right? And remember we talked about this. Uh, there are many important what in soil. Sometimes they're very small. We can't see them, but the plants will bring them up into the plant as they get their food from the soil. And then we eat the plants, we get those in our bodies. And they are very good for our bodies. Our bodies need these things. What are they? They are, of course, minerals. Minerals. So did you get all the words? Did you remember well? I hope you did. Okay. Well, now we're going to take a short break and move on to the reading. So don't go away. Okay, welcome back everybody. We've learned a lot of vocabulary this lesson, so let's take a look at the reading passage and remember the vocabulary we just learned. Are you ready? Let's begin. The first sentence is, dirt is below us. We talked about dirt. Dirt and soil are similar, right? They're almost the same thing. Where can we find dirt? Well, it's below us. It's under us. It's below us on the ground. So dirt is below us. It is everywhere under our feet. Everywhere. Even if you're in the city, it's under the street. It's under your apartment building. Dirt is everywhere below us. Okay, below things. Now when we talk about dirt, right, soil is the top layer of dirt. So layer, right, would just be like this. This is the layer. There are many layers, just like the chocolate cake we talked about before. There are different layers of the cake. Soil is the top layer of dirt, the very top, okay? Dirt is very deep. At the top is soil. Soil is good because plants and trees, plants and trees, they both grow in soil. Soil is good for plants and trees. It, it, what's it? It, soil, right? Plants and trees grow in soil. It helps them grow strong. So soil helps them, them, them are plants and trees. Plants and trees refer to them, or them refer to plants and trees. So soil helps plants and trees grow strong. And that's good. That's why soil is important. Soil has minerals, water, and air. Soil has those three things in it. And these, these, well, minerals, water, and air, those three things, right? Those are food for plants. If you are a plant, you're not a plant, but if you are a plant, your food is minerals, water, and air. Blech, I'm glad I'm not a plant, okay? But that's what plants eat, okay? Let's move on. Do you know where dead things go? Ooh, I don't want to know, but it's important to know, okay? Do you know, do you know, Arayo, where? Where they go, dead things, dead things like dead birds, uh, dead uh, plants, uh, dead things that are living that die, where do they go? What happens to them? Well, 
dead plants and animals turn into soil. That's interesting. So dead plants and animals turn into soil. They rot and change. They rot and change. Change, of course, is the same thing as turn into. They change into soil. They turn into soil. So they rot, they break down to very small pieces, and you don't recognize them anymore. And they turn into soil. They become soil. Bugs and other animals help this happen. For example, worms. Worms help. Uh, they eat the dead things, or they, they come through the earth and they eat those things, and they also uh, they go to the bathroom, right? And they leave the humus behind, right? They leave that soil behind. They work to make humus. They, that means bugs, right? Bugs and other animals. They work to make humus. Humus is what uh, is left after something dead rots and changes into soil. It changes into humus, very wet, uh, slimy dirt, and that's humus. But it's very good for helping plants grow. Many creatures live in soil. So there are many creatures. A worm is a creature. There are beetles, there's ants, there's all sorts of insects. And some, anim some mammals too, they live in the soil. That's where their home is. They live in the soil. They make their home in the soil. Earthworms, like we see here, right, dig in the soil. They dig and they make big pieces smaller. So they, of course, earthworms, Earthworms make like a big piece of soil, they make it smaller because they eat it. They make holes in it and it breaks down, it becomes smaller. This, what's this? Making big pieces smaller. This means like a process or something that happens. The thing that they do, this, right? What do earthworms do? They make big things smaller. This makes space, makes room for air and water. Because earthworms are digging into the soil, right? they're making holes, and now there's air, and when it rains, water can also go into the ground. And that's good for soil, because plants need uh, air and water along with the minerals in the soil. So that's a very good mixture. Okay. It is important, it's important, Who, to whom? To everybody. It's important to save soil. In other words, we shouldn't throw it away. We should try to keep it. We should try to preserve it. It's important to save soil, right? Water and wind can take it away. If there's a lot of rain, right? If there's a lot of rain or a river comes through, it can push all the soil away, it's gone and the farmers can't grow their plants. Wind, if it's very windy, whoosh, right? The wind can pick up the soil and blow it away. We need to have soil, so soil is very important. Why? Without soil, plants can't grow. Plants can't grow without soil. No soil, plants can't grow. It's like sand in the desert. Plants can't grow in the des desert. They need soil, not sand. So without soil, plants can't grow. Roots, the roots of the plants, they hold the soil down. Hold the soil down. So when you have a lot of different plants, you see the plants here, these roots, right? They're holding the soil there so the wind doesn't blow it away. Water doesn't wash it away because there's plants there. Trees and soil need each other. What does that mean? That means that with the tree, the tree needs the soil to grow, right? But the tree, the tree roots, hold the soil down so it doesn't blow away. So it helps both, right? Trees need soil to grow. Soil needs trees so it doesn't wash away or blow away. So they both need each other. Trees and soil need each other. Okay, so that's very interesting to look at. It's a very important relationship between 
plants and soil. Okay, that's a very interesting story about soil. Now let's do the reading comprehension questions. Number one, this story is about. What is this story about? Remember, we're looking for the uh, word that has to do with the entire story. Not one detail of the story, but what is a whole story about, okay? So, air, we talked about air, but that was a little part of the story. It wasn't the whole story, so that's not right. What about soil? Aha, uh -huh, soil, yeah, we talked about soil. We talked about uh, where soil is. We talked about what makes it up, what is in soil. And we talked about why soil is important. Okay, so we talked all about soil. So that is the correct answer. Looking at C and D, C says minerals. Again, that was a small point of the reading passage. And water was another small point. These are all small points, right? But, and air. This is the major, the big topic. That's what we talked about. So the correct answer is B. Number two. Oh, we also have it up here. Good. Okay. Number two. Dead plants and animals. If you look at a dead plant or dead animal, it doesn't look good. But if you look at them, right, what happens to them? That's what we're looking for. A never change. So if you see a dead fish, it never changes. It's always the same. Thankfully not. <laughs> okay. Because if it never changed, if you go to the beach, you would see hundreds, thousands, millions of dead fish on the beach. Ugh, it would smell, right? So that's not right. They do change. B, rot and turn into soil. That's the right answer, isn't it? B, they rot and turn into soil. So dead plants and animals rot. They break down. We talked about that in the passage. They break down. They become smaller. And what happens to them? They turn into soil. Let's look at C. Dead plants and animals dig in the soil? No, they're dead. They don't do anything. They don't dig into the soil. D, they have minerals, water, and air. Dead plants have minerals, water, and air? Well, maybe they do, but that's not the right answer that we're looking for. The reading passage was talking about how they rot and they turn into soil. That was the point in the reading passage. So D doesn't apply here. Okay, so dead plants and animals rot and turn into soil. That is the correct answer. Okay, moving on to number three. Earthworms. Remember, earthworms are a type of bug, right? Earthworms are a type of uh, small animal. Earthworms dig in the soil. Earthworms dig in the soil, not dead animals and plants, right? Earthworms dig into the soil. When they dig in the soil, what is the important thing that they're doing? We talked about this, right? They dig into big pieces of, of dirt or earth, and what do they do? They make those big pieces smaller. So which one are we looking for? And so, and they make small pieces bigger. They make small pieces bigger? No, that's the opposite, pandero, right? That's not correct. They make space for air and water? Ah, that's also what they're doing because when they make holes into the big pieces, air and water can go into those holes. So B is the correct answer. Seems like we had BBB so far, right? Okay, roots, they make roots? Earthworms don't make roots, that's not right. And D, dead plants, <laughs> earthworms make dead plants and animals? No, the killer earthworms, it's a very scary movie, right? So earthworms don't kill animals and plants, whew, right? They don't do that. What they do is they make space for air and water. That is the correct answer. So earthworms dig in the soil and make space for air and water. That's what earthworms do. Okay, so we come to the end here and we see again that dirt is good. We can see our picture of the dirt that we saw before. Remember, this part is the soil here. What other things can we say about dirt? Well, we see that soil has minerals, water, and air. These things, minerals, water, and air, those three things are in soil. Plants need those things, right, to grow strong. Okay, many creatures live in the soil. A lot of different creatures live in the soil. We saw worms as the main 
creature that lives in the soil and worms help make soil. There's also a lot of other bugs that live in the soil. So if you want, go in your backyard or in the park and you know, look in the soil. You might see little bugs rolling around. But be careful, right? Because your mom will get angry if you get dirt everywhere, right? She'll say, hook yogi, hook jogi, bung bungy nay, right? <laughs> so be careful, don't get too dirty, okay? Okay, and finally, it is important to save soil. Soil is so important for us because think about it. If there's no soil, without soil, plants can't grow. We have no food. All our food is gone. So soil is very important. It's important to save the soil. And plants and soil need each other. So we have to protect the plants. We can't cut down all the plants or step on all the plants so the plants die. We need to protect soil. How? We need to protect the plants. And so it's important to save soil and it's important to protect the plants. Use what we need, but keep what we don't need. Okay, well that about wraps it up. It's very interesting. We're talking about dirt. It seems like dirt. Is that an interesting subject? Well, it is. We learned a lot of interesting things about dirt in this lesson. And I hope you've learned a lot of good words and uh, some interesting ideas. We'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.